Welcome back. Well, the coronavirus pandemic has put the sports world on pause, and it's allowed players to focus on more than just baseball. Sports director Jack Dole's caught up with Tigers pitcher Matt Boyd to talk baseball and his family's inspiring fight against human trafficking. John F. Kennedy famously said, children are our most valuable resource and our hope for the future. I start with that because our guest, Matthew Boyd, and his wife, Ashley, have done incredible work to make sure that ch some children in Uganda actually know what hope looks like. He joins us now to talk about Kingdom Home and maybe a little baseball. Matt, how did you and Ashley get involved with this mission? Um, well, thanks for having me on, Jack. Yeah. Um Oh, it started out, my wife had actually visited Uganda. She spent um, uh, some time in high school over in Uganda, really had a heart for the country, um, learned a lot about the country, understood some of the issues that were uh, present there, and um, an opportunity presented itself where we could uh, kind of link arms with them and start our own nonprofit, and uh, specifically focused in Uganda, and um, that's what we did. And uh, she opened up my heart to this issue and uh, really showed me how big of an issue it is not only Uganda, but all over the world, including our own country. And, um, you know, it's just been pretty cool to see uh, kind of God take it so far and just uh, continue to grow it. Yeah, you know, a lot of people give money. Uh, you and Ashley took it a step further and spent time with the girls at Kingdom Home. Why be so invested? We were called, right? We were called. An opportunity presented itself to, uh, to go about in this. And um, the real tragedy would have been to not answer that call when it happened. Right, we we were we were able to. We had the means to. We had a support structure um, that has come around us in the process of this. Um, you know, kind of when that bell rang and there was a need, <clears throat> when we were approached about this need, um, we you know we 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 just acted on it, and we're, we're we're thankful for that. You answered that call. What was it like being there? What was it like looking into their eyes and seeing smiles on their faces? And it's awesome. Uh, whatever pain that. Um, some of the children were brought out of or pain that, you know, were prevented from, um, from forever entering. Um, it's, it's not there. It's just joy. Living as every child should. Uh, and just singing, dancing, going to school, playing games. Um, just just living in pure joy. And that's, it's, it's really, really special to see that. You know, it's, 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 um, it's cool to see that first step. How much more driven are you and Ashley now that you've seen a difference, the difference you can make? I'm more driven. You know, we, we uh, you know, God keeps leading us in this. And, uh, you know, we, from, you know, we've been running the homes. Now it's buying land. And now it's, you know, we were able to buy the land. Now it's building homes. You know, we're, we're starting construction on multiple homes now. And um, it's, uh, it's exciting. It's really exciting to know that this could be a place that could be a forever home that children will continue to find a refuge in. Who knows where the end will be? But uh, the goal is to end the child sex trade, and uh, we believe we can do it. How much have you learned about the problem of human trafficking? How horrifying is it? It's, it's a monstrosity. Um, it's a very, very dark part of our world that um, does not get brought to the light enough. Uh, it, 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 you know, but the best thing to do is actually talk about it, bring it to people's awareness, um, educate people on what to look for, including in our own country. It's dark. It's opened up my eyes in a lot of ways um, to kind of the darkness that's out there. But for the darkness, there's a lot of light and there's a lot of good people around the world and a lot of awesome organizations working really, really hard to uh, to end this thing. And uh, I believe with the right education and with the right with the right people and the right hearts, it can be ended. Is there a better feeling than knowing that you've answered God's call and you can see a difference being made? The feeling is just glad that I can hear the call. How about that, right? I just take pride in knowing that he's called us to something and just, just walking faithfully in that. And then when when um, one thing is over, then it's time to the next thing. You know, I'm called to baseball as much as I am to this. You know, your heart jumps when you're doing this thing. And that's how we feel with baseball. That's how we feel with Kingdom Home. And who knows what other ways that will also take place in.